Now, the elevator experiment which Einstein did, or it is a kind of a thought experiment, goes something like this. Now, if you are standing or sitting on earth, you feel a pressure on your feet. You feel that something is pushing up. Now, imagine yourself that you are on an elevator and the elevator is moving up. So, the ground will also push something on the feet and you are going to feel something. So, uh, the inference number one is that there is no distinction between going up when the elevator is pushing you up on the feet and the, uh, and the pressure that you feel when you stand uh, on earth. The scenario number two, for example, if the floor, floor collapses, God forbid it doesn't happen, and you are falling. Now, when you are falling, you feel weightless. You do not feel any weight. Now, similar things happen, God forbid that you are on an elevator and the ropes are uh, cut and the elevator is also falling. While the elevator is falling, if you drop a ball, the ball is going to float on the air. Similarly, when an astronaut is on deep space and when he or she is floating, it is giving the same weightlessness feeling. This is the famous elevator experiment of Einstein from where he inferred that acceleration and gravity are the same. There is nothing which is called a force because if it would have been a force, the elevator experience and standing or jumping on the surface of the earth would have given a different kind of a feeling. This is what is called an equivalence principle. That means the principles are equivalent. What we feel standing on the lift when the elevator is pulling up is the same what we feel when we are standing on the ground. When we are falling from a, uh, from a building, it gives us the same equivalent feeling when the ropes are uh, cut off and we are falling from the elevator. This is known as the equivalence principle, very central to general theory of relativity, which actually inferred that gravity is not a force. There is nothing called a fictitious force, but a curvature of space-time.